Once again, today's top stories. London has endured another night of German bombing. M See here, this isn't about your dedication. Pringle certainly attests to your loyalty. No, your dismissal stems from the Titanic mission. That failure can no longer be ignored, especially now. I am sorry, but someone must shoulder the blame. The service, you understand. We can't be held responsible. The past, forever locked in regret. But what if the past could be changed? Thirty years have come and gone since the night that saw the end of the world, my world. The service needed someone on the Titanic. They chose me. I was to wait for a signal from my contact, so I remained in my cabin. I left only once Georgia was on board. And that's when it came. There'd be no second chance. It was Sunday, April 14th. Too late, you see, for the Titanic, for me. What if I'd met with my contact, prevented disaster? What if the past could be changed? What then? Good evening. I am Smethels. Seasickness. 2002. Have you unpacked? Signed an agent of the Crown to rendezvous with you on board the Titanic. Remain in your cabin until your contact gives you further instructions. After completion of all your assignments on board, book passage to remain on the ship and return to Southampton for your next assignment. For a more in-depth report of the international situation in the spring of 1912, Please review the white paper included as part of this briefing. That is all. His Majesty's government has assigned...
shouldn't be. It's about time. You're late. Another five minutes and I'd have cancelled your mission. Yes, I'm Pringle. Penny Pringle. From the Bureau of Secret Service. You didn't think they'd plunk you down on this bucket of bolts and millionaires alone, did you? Look at this. A German colonel named Zeitel. He's inspecting their embassies in Havana, Washington and Mexico City. We know better. Ten days ago, the Bureau got word that Zeitel has in his possession a priceless copy of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, stolen two months ago in Paris after its purchase by a very highly placed member of His Majesty's government. The Rubaiyat's a book, a collection of medieval Persian poetry, a passion of his lordships. Poetry, Persians. The German high command must think it's important enough to have their top man smuggle the lot on board. Of course, didn't they tell you anything? His lordship's watching this very closely, very closely indeed. I wouldn't fumble this chance either, unless you fancy spending the rest of your career in some grotty Midlands back office shuffling paper about. Have you seen the report? In your trunk? On the international situation? I'd jolly well read it if I were you. No. He's with the protégé. Name of Hedelitz, I believe. The two spend a great deal of time in the Café Parisien. Nibbling pastries. Get into the wireless room. I don't know or care how. Officer Morrow wouldn't let me in. See if Zeitel's received or sent any telegrams about the Rubaiyat. You've got a cryptograph in your trunk. It'll unscramble the German codes for you. You use the brains God gave you. Watch people. Listen. When you find the Rubaiyat, knock on my door. Cabin F, 34. Use the second class stairs. You should be set. Remember, this is your big chance. Don't fail. Come here. Don't you love the sea air? <sighs> really clears out the sinuses. Max Seidelman, Philadelphia, PA. Buyer for Haymaker's Department Store. The shoppy of Spruce Street, they call me. You a sporting type? You look like the sporting type. Come on down to the smoking room for a nightcap. Riviera's looking for someone to play a few hands of blackjack with him. What do you say? Not much else to do. Not tonight. Brr. Cold as a cast iron commode out here. So... What do you say? If that's the way you're gonna be, don't bother. Sheesh, just trying to be friendly. Some people. Look, I'm really not interested in talking. A card shop. Me, Max Seidelman. Haymaker's head buyer. Good evening. Third Officer Morrow here. I am sorry, but this is the officer's promenade. No passengers allowed. Yes, very calm. No moon. I don't like that. Can't see what's coming. No moon means surprises, as if we don't have enough already. Mr. Ismay, the White Star Line's president's on board. We're walking eggshells round him, I tell you. <laughs> Though that's nothing compared to the creeping about my brother-in-law's doing at the moment. His entire London office is in an uproar. Tom works in the Admiralty. Seems our plans for troop deployments against Germany disappeared three weeks ago. Tom says the big boys are petrified the Jerrys will get wind of it could upset the balance of power. Politics. 
desktop espionage. Bureaucrats. Pa, give me the C. You can toss the rest. You ask a lot of questions. Ones I don't want to answer. Never have. Not since the war. South Africa. Boer War. The officer was a drinker. He was drunk when they trapped us out on the veldt. On a moonless night, it was a massacre. We never saw them coming. Drink always leads to the devil. An interesting connection. For all I know, it could be true. A man's got his troubles, sick child, being away from home. But I hate whiners and apologizers. Well, thank you for your insight. Have a look, why don't you? Mind you, Phillips will have my head if he catches you in there. But I don't see any harm. Go on in. Say, would you step? You're English then. did the message. Smashing. The boiler rooms. Blast. There's an entrance to the lower decks around here somewhere. Query the lift attendant. He's cheeky, but he knows this ship. Intercept the Rubaiyat before it changes hands. Enter first class like this? No, they would catch Vlad. Ooh, what have we here? The fancy dress balls upstairs, mate. Ready? Check out the toff. All right. You've come to see her guts, have you? Squint, mate. It ain't hard. Off with you! Think you can out with a fireman like me? Think again. All right now, let's see what the toffs are made of. Come on, leadhead! Jerk! That's the best you can do! Jerk! You're just an ugly cur! What? Nobody talks that way about me, Mum! 
Bugger off! Up top with you, now! Yes. The lounge is closed for the night. We'd open it again only in an emergency, which we are not experiencing at the moment. Good night. You found him. For Vlad? Good night. Thank you. I have everything I need now. A successful day. While you were gone, I picked up something very important. So please, you must excuse me. I call on Mr. Barbican. I have very good news for him. Wait. Did you get it? Did you find the Rubaiyat? No. If the Home Office hears of such lollygagging, your next mission's apt to be boiling water for the clerk's tea. Interesting. But we need evidence. We must have evidence. Something to connect this Barbican fellow to Zeitel. There is a photographer, a Mr. Burns, on board. He might have a photo of the two. Check with him. Can I help you? You found him. What do you want? Well, unfortunately, I don't have time to show it to you. Gee, thanks. I think so. I wish Stephanie agreed. Hello. Good to see you again. Have you seen... Well... Good. 
She must really... You've got pretty good advice. I'm going... Did you find anything on Zeitl? His mission? His contacts? Smashing! What have you learnt? Clearly someone else has filched it. More art? Zeitl's no connoisseur. No, there's something about that painting of interest to the German High Command. I don't have any information about Vlad. But the other fellow, look here. Zeitel's titanic contact is a London art dealer named Sasha Barbican. They say he smuggles art, and he's not above selling stolen merchandise. The files say he's Serbian, interestingly enough, with links to some shady Balkan groups. No. If the Home Office hears of such lollygagging, your next mission's apt to be boiling water for the clerk's tea. Find anything else? Quite significant. This man, here with Zeitel. That's Barbican. I'll keep this. Good work. The painting's what Zeitel's really after. You must secure it. Where or how, I don't care. Just find it and bring it back here. Check the purser. He might know where the painting is stored. Sneak a peek at his cargo manifest. That should help you find the painting. Cargo stored somewhere beneath the forecastle deck. Things are thickening up quite nicely, aren't they? We've got to get our hands on that painting. Don't fail. and Sasha to the ship's stern. They're having a rather heated conversation. See if you can listen in. I'll track their movements. The drop. It worked as you said. I have it. The Rubiot's mine. I hope you appreciate it. More so the profit it brings. What will you do with it? There's an American tycoon who collects rare manuscripts. He'll pay a fortune and ask no questions. But there's just one problem, Colonel. Which is? There's a third party on board. An agent working against you. Against us. How do you know? 
My servant who retrieved the rubiot encountered them. But they should take precautions. What about the painting? Did your associate bring it up from the cargo hold? No, I don't have it. No? But I put it there myself. Sasha, I have discovered a traitor. Don't look so startled. It is not you. You mean Adelitz, your associate? No longer my associate, I am afraid. Willi was an intellectual. And intellectuals aren't smart enough for espionage. Now, I must recover the painting and its plans. I fear this third party may already have possession of it. And Adelitz? Thank you for asking. Willi will bring no further harm to the Fatherland, I assure you. Let us plan. What do you want? Why, what do you know? Not that it matters. I'm much too busy. I must get this message through from Mr. Thayer. Mr. Thayer expects his private train car to meet him in New York, and I can't leave my post. But I need to send this telegram. Help? Yes, it might be helpful if you delivered this message to the wireless room for me. Even better, why don't you send it for me? Mr. Thayer is a very important man. So, glad... Yes, you sent it, and let them I see you earlier? You'll never guess who I saw earlier. The man himself, 
Isidore Strauss, the owner of Macy's department store standing right over there. Haymakers is a fine shop, but Macy's, man, that's the big store. But just as I was readying myself to make an introduction, he leaves. You seen him? At the foot of the stairs with his wife. Let me know if you see him, will you? Good evening, mon ami. Buick Riviera welcomes you to the tables. You look familiar. We make a meeting before. Dovi, the casino at Monaco, New Mexico. I lived there once, in Diamondback. Such a town. So, have we met? Too bad. A draw. We are both losers. Again? Ah, uh, I have won as you see. Je regret. You like to play again? <laughs> I win. Another hand, mon ami? Well played. You are the winner. Again? Good night. Yes, can I help you? Oh wait, go away, I'm too busy. Thank you. Yes, can I help you? Wonderful. Passengers aren't allowed on the bridge. Officer Moro's in no mood to accommodate passengers right now. He's misplaced his binoculars, and he's in a right proper state about it too. Off with you now. Good evening. Third Officer Morrow here. I am. Ah, my binoculars. Thank you. Borrowed them from Fleet earlier tonight. He's up in the crow's nest. Hope he has another pair with him. <laughs> oh, guess I left them somewhere. Thanks again. Well, 
I suppose it's all right. Just don't touch. Too quiet. Instead of gabbing with passengers, We're not allowed to accept gifts from passengers. Company policy, you understand. Good night. There you are. I have evidence of a scandal. I have seen a first-class passenger. I will sp Thank you, sir. He don't want no passengers down here. I'd be in a right big mess if he caught you sniffing around.
Does the purser have some keys that can get you into the cargo hold? Cargo stored somewhere beneath the forecastle deck. And hurry, I've evidenced Zytel's after the painting as well. Sorry, this section's off limits. Passengers aren't allowed on the bridge. Try asking Officer Morrow for a tour. His mood's lifted since he found his binox. Off with you now. know you, nor do I want to. Leave me or I shall summon a steward. If you want to be a bore, I suggest you travel steerage. Good evening. Tell me, do you approve of women who smoke? If you want to be a bore, I... <laughs> You're witty. Most men take their indulgences one at a time. Combine them, like women with tobacco, and they pitch fits. <laughs> Pity. Andrew and I wintered in Cairo. We returned via Paris, where we ran into all sorts of people, including that charming German Colonel Zeitel. He had a great interest in rare books. It will be wonderful to be home. No dust storms, no lepers. Mr. Trask predicts a banner year for me. Trask? A brilliant seer. Brilliant! I consult him about business decisions and he's never steered me wrong. He instructs me to travel on only two ships. The Titanic and the Lusitania. I must stop our chat here. I've other concerns. My maid, she's left us. Yes, well, good night. Nobody's allowed to... You've got the keys. You're a carter. Of course you can enter. Right this way. Come to visit your new automobile, have you? <laughs> Can't say I blame you. She's a beauty. Clean... you for seeing after your automobile. Man's got to protect his investments. You're the second passenger tonight who wanted to get in here. A young German gentleman. He came here not long before you did. Only he weren't looking at no motor car. He wanted to get a painting. Got it too. Carted it off somewhere. Blooming art lovers. Well, good night. It's a right honour to help one of the carters.
Did you get the painting? Blast. Someone got there before you. If only you'd been faster. That snooty steward Smethels was looking for you. Find him and kick him smartly in the shins. Here's a message for you. Still wandering. This ship. Meanwhile, I shall imp- I do not meet so many people on the Titanic. It is a pity. I like the English. I wish I knew more of them. Now you have the opportunity of fencing with me. Three-time champion of my university. You are also an excellent athlete, yes? Colonel Seitel believes it so. The Colonel is very seldom confused about anything. You will play. If you win, perhaps. I relate to you some stories. En garde. Allez. Ah. Allez. Ah, verdammt. Allez. Ah, verdammt. Allez. Touché. Alle. Sehr gut. Alle. Ella. Alle. Touche. Alle. Ah. You are a great athlete. The Titanic, how quickly she is moving. The engines are loud here. We are nearing the Grand Banks. The Vikings thought this part of the North Atlantic cursed. Even modern sailors call it the Devil's Hole, a place of deadly surprises. Things aren't always what they seem, yes? Like me, for example, I am German. But I am also a friend to others, perhaps even the English. Another match? Afterwards, we can tell more tales. Another match? En garde. Allons. Sehr gut. Allons. Ach, verdammt. Allons-y. Et là. Allez. Allons. Sehr gut. Allez. Touché. Allons. Touché. Allez. C'est gut. You, you fence well. Take this in friendship. May it bring you luck. A thing I fear. We shall all need. But if anything should happen to me, I trust you will know what to do. Why do you assume he is interested in paintings? Loyal ones. You do? Remember, only one thing is I am interested in. The ancient Aryans believed men would see four ages, according to the Let us meet. What did our young Mr. Havelitz want? I'll see if I can dig something up on him. 
Hmm, their partnership appears to be dissolving. Who else knows young Hadelitz? Talk to anyone who may have seen him. Hadelitz's ring. Maybe Trask can tell you more about it. Finally, you're on the right trail. Follow those leads. Yes, of course. Hadelitz is dead. Electrocuted in the Turkish bath. I heard one of the officers talking about it. This may not have been an accident. Apparently someone wants that painting badly enough to kill for it. Do you have it? Not doing so well, are you? Someone must have taken the painting before you got there. Young Hadelitz, a czarist spy? It's beginning to become clear. Quite possibly. We need more information about the murder. A notebook. Zeitl? The Germans would like no If Hadelitz was murdered, you'll need protection. Here, this pen releases a single burst of knockout gas when opened. Find that notebook. It could be vitally important. Go investigate the situation at the Turkish bath. Move. What have you heard? A passenger, a young German, gone and dropped dead on us in the electric baths. Dr. Olothan's there now. This was just a simple accident. Ismay is going to raise hell when he hears, and I thought this would be an easy trip. Be my guest. Mind you, it's not pretty. Now, if you'll excuse me. Lee Hadelitz is dead. Christ almighty wonder! You has a face ache, ain't you? Roaming the ship, poking your nose into everyone's business? Just who do you take me for now? One of those la -di -da millionaires up top? Jack Hacker keeps his word, honors his promises. When I saw you come in, I says to myself, they'll be wanting to know about him. The foreign gentleman, German I suspect, a remedy nervous type he was too. Give me a bob and told me to tell whoever asked to repeat a phrase word for word. You want to hear it now? But still the vine her ancient ruby yields, and still a garden by the water blows. Yeah, that's it. Here he wrote it down. What's it mean anyway? Some rich man's game you play. You can have it.
with Riviera on board? Get real, Pally. Watch him. Or he'll pick your wallet, too. Don't mind if I do. Smoke him if you got him, I always say. Gave a pack of these to the German kid early tonight. He's an odd one. While we was docked in Queenstown, I saw him on top of one of the smokestacks. The last one. Right at the top. Who knows what he was up to. Looked like he was hiding something. Crazy crowd kid. Well done. Listen. I've discovered the only way into the smokestack. Through the engine room. Find that notebook. Helping the Tsar will help us too. Now she's still running. Right. You have interfered in my affairs for the last time. Prepare to die at the hands of Serbia. I think that notebook is for me. Please. I know exactly who you are. The agents have our secrets, yes? Thank you for finding it. Lily would have appreciated your effort. Cold, isn't it? I've maintained climate is the crucible of civilization. Culture blooms in the temperate. It is the... T in that note... Dave... Dave would kill them. What? Ah! You see, my friend? We will all meet the devil. Eventually. <laughs> That's a nasty bump. You'll live. But for how long is the question? We've struck an iceberg. The incompetence, the idiots. That was an hour ago. The captains called women and children to the boats. 
It's serious. She's sinking by the bow. She's got about an hour left, maybe a little more. Look, you have to find that book, the Rubaiyat, before the Titanic sinks. And the painting, you have to find it. We need to get those plans. And make sure that necklace doesn't end up in the wrong hands. The Serbian, Vlad, he must have the notebook. The notebook lists the names of Russian radicals. The Germans actively encourage Lenin and other revolutionaries. You must recover that notebook. This information is vitally important to our Russian allies. I know you're hurt, but the Titanic's sinking. It's not going to be easy. The lifts have been shut down for good. We must get the evidence off the ship before it goes. So, up we go. Now get cracking. get me to leave. I'm not going. I'm not. We went. This deck's closed. No one can go up from this point. There aren't the boats for the steerage passengers, they must stay below. If you go down there, I can't guarantee you'll come back. It's dangerous down there. Good luck. If I'm still here when you return, I'll let you back up. Sasha cared only for himself, not Serbia, not the Black Hand. This is war. Deserters are shot. Like dogs. And you? You come for the Rubiat? Maybe you come for the notebook. The one the German wanted? Maybe you want this. The English Lord's necklace. It is mine to sell. The money for the Black Hand. Then you will see somewhere, sometime. Within a month, in a year, we strike. We will start a fire. A fire that will destroy the Austria oppressors. Destroy Europe. And all Serbs will know freedom. I must leave. I must get on a lifeboat. Once again, I must ask for your help. Find a way to let me board a lifeboat unnoticed. Women and children first is the rule. What? How? Disguise? No, I die like a man. You can get me into the first class? To the boats? What can I give you? Never. It is for Serbia. <laughs> Quickly, what do you take? Take it and give me. <laughs> give it to me. If I disguise myself, I can reach the boats. The sea, it's coming in. Keep out of Scotland Road. The captain wants everyone up top. Stand back! Ladies and gentlemen, maintain order! Women and children board first! Prepare to swing out! Lifeboat away, sir! I didn't think 
I'd see you again. Now get up on the boat deck. The steerage passengers are still below. They're waiting for the word to go to the boats. Now get up on the boat deck. Bonsoir, mon ami. Sit if you like. Talk to me. The Titanic is dying, but the games are still being played. Even here. Is that why you have come? For a game? To while away the time? My stakes? Why, mon ami, we play for souls. <laughs> At least a substitute thereof. We must play for something real. Something a man would die for. Regardez. A carte d'entrée. A pass to the lifeboats. With this, you have life. <laughs> Looks familiar, eh? If you win, it is yours. What do you wish to put down in return? Yeah, jewelry. Such diamonds. Quite valuable. Almost as beautiful as the Lady Georgia. Bien. If you win, you receive the boat pass. If I win, I get the necklace. Let's begin. You win. Here. Deliverance. Of a kind. One more? Well, maybe I see you again. Before you die. Adieu. Where's the mission going? Perhaps that Serbian Vlad has it. Where did you see him last? The sailors are giving priority to women and children. If worse comes to worse, give me the evidence. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. There are still quite a few boats left. How is the mission going? Hadelitz must have given it to someone. Did he have any friends? The sailors are giving priority to women and children. If worse comes to worse, give me the evidence. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. There are still quite a few boats left. Stand clear. Loading boats 9, 11 and 13. Women and children to the boats. No, women and children only. It's the rule. The pass. The devil himself wouldn't be so bold. Here, get in. Tell them we did our best. Tell them.
Vlad left the Titanic with the Rubiot. The money garnered from the sale would finance the violent assassination of Archduke Ferdinand at Sarajevo in 1914. The World War followed. As for the painting, it went down with the ship. Fortunately, Shayla and the baby survived. I never retrieved Willie's notebook. The German support of the Russian revolutionaries continued. World War I ended in 1918, a victory for the Allies. Germany was ruined, Russia in revolution. Soon after, Lenin consolidated his power in Moscow. A decade later, Hitler became Führer, promising to avenge Germany's defeat. The rest of the story is depressingly familiar. Here we are, April 14th, 1942, fighting another war, a second world war. And I keep wondering, was there something anyone could have done, something I could have done to stop it? If only the past could be changed.